Here on Granada next, Thomas and Sally may benefit from the so-called grit and grime of the North. Now on Granada, Dennis Waterman and Jan Francis hope to stay lucky. Sunday. Piss off. One champagne. Thirty six pounds, please. I said that would be thirty six pounds, please. Cheaper twice the price. Do keep the change. Thanks a lot. Hello, my name's Sharon. Not our Sharon, by any chance. Yeah, our Sharon, if that's what you want. Perfect. Suit yourself. I'm helping out some mates who've got this sort of feminist cooperative business thingy. Sounds wonderful. Where's Thomas? Benefit poker game for Barry the Plank. In English, please. You know, sick Barry. Barry Kernan. Oh, he's all right. Yeah, well, he's been laid off up at my chip factory. There's been a big chuck out since old man Kurosawa had to disembowel himself or whatever they do. So they're fixing up a poker game to give Barry a few quid. Yeah, well, you just pop over to the pub and tell dear sweet Thomas that much as I appreciate his charity work, if he's not back here in ten minutes, I'll wire his nuts to the national grid. OK. Look at my cards. What's it matter? I'm not playing. No, but you're spotting for your dad, so f go away. Your ten, Barry, with another ten. No, no, that's me out. Pay for your own bleeding heart. Barry. Oh, whack. If we could have a decision by Wednesday. I'll see you. Well, now. You can be at a full house, it's all yours. You want to go to pair? You have not. I have. Dad? What? I don't get bloody cards. I should know what she has. All right. Two pair of fours. Four fours, that is. Bravo! God, you're a marvellous player. Keen to smile the host. Thanks, that'll come in right, Andy. Oh, you, that belongs to your dad. Come on, Tracy. Thanks, lads. That all. God, blimey, he's hard work, isn't he? A gentle soul, unfortunately lost in the wide open spaces between his ears. Yeah, well, he should stop weeping into his beer and get hustling. Is that woman's got a job, hasn't she? 
Well, if local rumour is to be believed, she has one of the oldest jobs in the world. Well, Sharon, get off. Well, she works in Fanny's, an establishment that need have no fear of prosecution under the Trade Descriptions Act. <laughs> Thomas? Hmm? Sally, Nosh, you, lay Sudden death. Oh, bloody hell. Watch this, our Sharon. Oh, stop being such a show-off. Listen to me. What? There is gold in them thy hills. Get off. What are we doing here? It's like a slow night at the morgue. This is where the legitimate business people dine. Exactly. So what are we doing here? We are now a legitimate business. We must conduct ourselves accordingly. Sally, look, oi. We've got one barge functioning. We've got another one being renovated, and we've got a few quid from the insurance of the one that was blown up. We are not talking P&O here, are we? No, you've got to start somewhere. Exactly. So, I think we should diversify. Use the insurance money to go into property and development... And no. I am not a property developer. They are the scum of the earth. Yeah, but some of them are very rich scum of the earth. Forget it. No. Absolutely out of the question. Never. Yep. Twelve year, I'll up at Curious Hours. Yeah, yeah. Same again, is it, Barry? Nice place. Good mates. Proper. Met Sharon at Curious Hours. <laughs> Never anywhere to go around here. Oh, I don't know. Went to a good place last Saturday. Oh, I. Where was that? Place called Fanny's. Aye. Oh. What about Gin and Hardcastle? Well, what do you reckon? Oh, Hardcastle and Gin. I mean, it is my business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I think it's a bit much of a statement. Aye? Eh? Well... Hardcastle and Gin Gin and Hardcastle. It's like, well, it's like Marks and Spencers or Morecambe and Wise. It's, it's people have been together for a long time. Yeah? Yeah, well, we haven't, have we? Been together a long time. What are you actually trying to say? <sighs> well, well, the thing is that... I don't really know where I stand. I mean, are you here? How long are you stopping? Where are we at? Oh, I got you, I got you. I said, you don't want to start lashing out on sign writers until you're certain that I'm going to be around to see the paint dry, right? Right. Well, I will be. How about the Yorkshire Barge Company? How can I convince you? I don't know. This is supposed to be a business meeting. I've got these birds. Yeah. Ghostesses. Know what I mean? Like on planes? No, oh, not like on planes. Mind you, just before closing, they do ask you to return the hostess to the upright position. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, did you join the local Mile Eye Club? Oh, I should say. Right, little raver. She couldn't get enough. <laughs> what were her name? Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> Look, Sally, I mean, it's your company, it's your money, so in the long run you call it what you want, don't you? Thomas? Yeah? I may not know where it's all going, but I do know one thing. What's that? I want you, always. Always? Well, till breakfast, anyway. Is that a confirmed booking? Absolutely. Yeah, give us those keys and let's get on home, then. Yeah. Stop at the pub and we'll get a bottle of champagne. Well, I prefer beer personally. Not for what I've got in mind, you won't. So? 
What do you make of my little proposal? You're a nice fella, Malcolm, but no. You could make a lot of money. Very nice, but still no. Oh, hello. Trouble at t t pub. It's not a job! My Sharon is not a job! Will someone get this kid off me? Bastard! This is. Bastard! Hold on, excuse Lively! What's happened? Well, nothing much. Slimy Len said Sharon was on the game. So Barry threw everybody out the window. Oh, no, he's too gentle for all that. People should never tell the truth in public houses. Dear, oh, dear. We're going to have to look after Tracy. Well, yeah, of course, yeah, we'll drop her off on the way home, eh? Her mother's working, idiot. She's going to have to stay with me. Now, come on, darling, into that car. No. No, no, I, I'm staying with you. No. Lovely Sally. Good. I'm just finding you some nice things. Ta. I'll give you a fiver if you disappear. Five? Ten. Show us it. <clears throat> Lost it all to my dad, didn't you? Nah. Right then. Here we are. Now, you just pop in there, put this on while I sort out the sleeping arrangements, all right? Okay. <laughs> She's sweet. Sleeping arrangements? Well, simple, isn't it? I mean, she sleeps out here, we sleep in there. You must be out of your mind. She's only ten. So? Well, she'd be in another room. Thomas, you're an animal. Well, given half a chance, yeah. It's quite out of the question. What about the car? Oh, don't be so ridiculous. It's far too cold. No, no, no. I mean what you said in the car. Look, I'd had a couple of drinks. We'll have a couple more. Thomas! Look, um, we could be quiet, couldn't we? For tonight, I am Tracy's guardian. I am not having it on my conscience that I warped her psyche. She's an innocent child. Do you care to repeat that? No. No, I didn't think you would. But she's still a child. Yeah. Yeah, well, I suppose I've slept on the sofa before, and I? I don't think you can sleep on the sofa. Eh? Well, she might think we're living together. We are living together. Are we? Well, as much as your paranoia will allow, yeah. Well, all right. I'll, I'll tell her that your house burnt down, but please sleep quietly. Thomas. Thomas, come here. Selling out the Waltons, isn't it? Mm. We were lucky no one was seriously hurt, or he could have been facing much more serious charges. They bloody provoked him. I think that was taken into account. In any case, you should keep him on a chain when he's out of you, eh? Thank you, Mr. Hamid. See you back in court. Keep him home till then. Yeah. And how much is the bloody solicitor going to cost me? Well, my fault. Oh, of course not. You just let a couple of clowns wind you up and I'll end up paying a fortune. Well, I said you were on game. Oh, I drink with the punters, that's all. Oh, pack it in, eh? It's not nice. And then what would we live on? Like me to do a bit of cleaning, would you? Take him washing? I don't like it. Well, that's hard luck. I'd kill myself if I lost you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, get I it. would. I have nothing left. You're a bloody waste of space, you are. Get in! Which one's yours, Tracy? Right up the top. Is there a lift? Yeah, but hold your breath. Will goes pissing it. Oh, do they? Really? Sorry about last night. Oh, don't worry, it happens. It wouldn't happen if you were home. Was she any trouble? Oh, no, no, none at all. Well, slight mishap at breakfast, but nothing to worry about. How's Barry? I don't know. 
He doesn't talk much. He, he's sort of gone into himself, poor sod. Dear. Tracy says that you're working as a... A hostess. Look, I didn't mean... Everybody judges, don't they? All those sniggering little jerks down the pub. Well, I don't give a toss about them. I've got my problems, now do what I have to do to solve them in the own way. Yeah, look, well, don't get stroppy with me. I'm on your side. Oh, well, I'm sorry. The bloody world gets up your nose sometimes. Yeah. Well, just let me know if there's anything I can do. Yeah, OK. Pop round sometime, eh? All right. Bye. Bye. Thomas. Oh, I'll watch you lively. What are you up to? I'm just drying out my trousers. Some little dwarf poured coffee all over me. What do you want? The good Lord has chosen this fine day to shower blessings upon me. Something falling off the back of something? Get round here. I've got us a live one. It's good. Not bad at all. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, sir. But it's not quite what I'm after. Well, how's that, sir? I'm looking for a place that really epitomizes the gritty integrity of the North. I know what you mean, sir. Every morning I wake up and I say to myself, Oh, God, if I could only find that magic spot that epitomizes the gritty integrity of the North. What a load of bollocks. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's what I like about the North. Up here, the engine may be rusty, but the muscles are still firm. He's radio rental, this one. But he's a professional photographer with a lot of money. A lot of money? A lot of a lot of money. Malcolm! How right you are. Gritty integrity. You must have it. So how can we help you, sir? I'm doing a photo shoot up here. I need someone to show me the real North. Put it there. I just happen to be an accredited guide. And Lively here owns a small but exclusive limousine service. Perfect. Got it all up here, mate. Rivers, old Roman forts, mineral springs, beauty and antiquity, all in the same bag. Yeah, this is your real Bronte country, this. The ghosts of those birds is all over round here. Now, down to your left there, that river, that's your um, picturesque river... Dale. And, um, oh, see that pile of rocks? That's very famous as well. That's uh, locally known as um, the Rock Pile. It's not the way I want it, Thomas. Well, what do you want me to do? Move them over a bit? <laughs> it's not the real Yorkshire. Well, it looks like Yorkshire. It tastes like Yorkshire. I want the hard Yorkshire, Thomas. The people's Yorkshire. I want the grit, the grime, the pain, the groveling poverty, the shattered souls, the blackened faces. I want the anger. Where is it, Thomas? You tried Wales?
just what in hell's name are you up to? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Everywhere I've looked this morning, I've seen Pippa darting in and out of phone boxes. Now, what's going on? It's business. I'm helping out a sisterhood. Doing what? Nothing. Give me that. Get off! Give! Doreen for discipline. Rita, French lessons. Well, enough for me! This is pimping. It's advertising. Same thing. This is women doing their own thing in a free enterprise society. Don't give me that rubbish. Right, I'm making a couple of quid. Not like this, you're not. <coughs> no. You know something? You're middle class, you're middle aged, and you're dead boring with it. I'm not middle aged! This is good, Thomas. This place has got real filth. The Breaker's Yard? God, what a pillock. Fifty notes a day, I can handle it. And what about the engine you were supposed to be fixing? There's more money in this, isn't there? Look, I am trying to run a business. You're my employee. Do you want to be fired? Oh, come on, sir. It's only for a couple of days. Well, what sort of photographer is he? Fashion. Fashion? Yeah. Well, as in beautiful models? No, as in ugly ferrets. Well, where are these models, then? Well, apparently there's a couple coming up today, once he's made his mind up about the locations. And you're going to be with them? Well, don't worry. I'll put a paper bag over me head, all right? Thomas! I have some pictures in my head. That's good, Malcolm. Very good. Sally, this is Malcolm. I want a personification of the misery of the redundant man. Where are the people who used to work up to mills and down to bits? They've all retired to Tony Molinos. What a pity. Barry the Plank. Thomas. Well, he's been laid off. He's miserable, isn't he? Yeah, but he's your friend. Exactly. There'd be a few quid in it for him. What are friends for? You are disgusting. Is there a problem? And you're no better. Coming up here like some arty farty bloody I don't know what. Honestly, I could spit. In fact, I will. There. Wonderful woman. Where is this Barry the Plank? I will assume that this outburst was due to the unfortunate problem of your recent redundancy and the consumption of far too much alcohol. You will pay a fine of £300. Oh, Christ. Hello, Sharon. How'd you get on? 300. Might just as well have been 3 million. Uh, look, uh, this is a friend of mine, Malcolm Bowen. This is Sharon. Mr. Bowen? Oh, there's your man. Hold on, I'm just gonna have a quick word with Barry. Having a few problems, our Sharon? Nothing that a few quid wouldn't solve. My offer is still open. Oh, why not? This evening? Where? The Hotel Majestic. Thomas seems to be losing his case. Sharon? 8.30. Mm. My favourite sound. Am I forgiven yet for working for Malcolm? Your integrity as a human being is your business. No, I thought I would amuse myself by filling you up with cheap plonk and using your body. No chance. I'm not that sort of bloke. Oh, go on. Give us a kiss. Oh, all right. But don't mess up my hair. <laughs> oh, God. We're out! Sharon, uh, come on in. As long as she hasn't got the poison dwarf with her. Oh, not disturbing, am I? No, no. No, no, I was just playing chess. Uh, can I have a quick word, Sal? Yeah, of course. Oh, do you want me to evaporate? No, no, you just get on with the cooking. We'll talk here. Oh. Yeah, you talk amongst yourself, Thomas. You keep on cooking. Yeah, then you can go and polish the lawn, fight the wars, earn the wages. 
Sing them songs, tote them bales. No, no, that's that's absolutely fine. Don't you worry, there's no problem. Oh, thanks. <sighs> Bye. Ta da. What's all that about? Oh, nothing much, just woman's talk. Well, at least you didn't bring the brat from the Black Lagoon. You know, I was thinking, if we could ever get this tub out on the ocean, we could give Tracy a job. There's a sea anchor. <laughs> Thomas. I mean, once you've met her, you begin to think kindly about Lucretia Bulger and Ivan the Terrible, don't you? That smells nice. Sharon's going to our sisters in Harrogate for the night. Who's Ivan the Terrible? A really bad pianist. Sharon, how lovely. Come on in. I'm supposed to be at my sister's. We'll need a few good hours. Well, I guess I won't get there then. Let me take your coat off you. I hope I'm doing the right thing. Of course you are. Don't you worry. When's she going? Oh, I'll take it back a bit later this morning. Mm. I'd like it to stay a bit longer, really. Have you and your brain got divorced? That's your trouble, isn't it, Thomas? You've never had any children of your own, so you're self-centred, selfish and single and always will be. Oh, yeah. And how many kids have you had then, eh? Contrary to popular male myth, the woman who doesn't have children is not a twisted mess of sorrow and yearning because of it. I never said she was. You were thinking it. I wasn't. I know what you're thinking. Oh, and I don't, I suppose. It's my bleeding head, innit? Yeah, well then, hose it out. Get rid of some of your stupid <laughs> ideas. Could I have five sugars, please? Of course you can, my darling. Anything else? Yeah, could you put him out with the rubbish? Oh, <laughs> Tracy, you are a little treasure. Yeah, a little treasure should be buried. Here. Give them to this chappy Stan and he'll rush them through for me. Do you think I was okay? We'll soon know. Bring them back this afternoon and we'll go through them. Come on, girls. These are my two southern bells, Miss Jane and Miss Vicky, fresh from the loving clutches of British Rail. Hello. Hello. Uh, do you want to jump in, make yourself comfortable? Good girls. So, what's first, then? The political statement, I think, Thomas. Hmm. Just as well to ain't modelling bikini, isn't it? Right. Chop, chop, girls! So, what's the political statement here, then? Meat, Thomas. Women in meat. The essential anarchy of slaughter and the exploitation of the feminine form, all in one frame. All oh, right, I gotcha. Yeah, good, that, isn't it? You're a real bastard, Malcolm. We want extra for this. And you shall have it, my lovelies. Time and a half for anything below freezing. <laughs> Some chance. Right, girls, let's drape ourselves round this ex-cow here. Good, good. Eyes, Jane. Eyes. Nice. Nice. Lips, lips, Jane. Lips. All right, girls. Heads together. peek a -boo. Oh, yes. Round front, girls. Round front. Out front. Hello. Hello, Vicky. Bloody hell. Good. Get warm, girls. What are you doing? What? These dirty pictures. You never said anything about porn. Porn? I do not do porn. This is art. Well, it looks like dirty pictures to me, pal. That's your problem. All right, then. Where are they going to end up? It's not your concern. Oh, no. Go on. Tell us. Where is it? National Portrait Gallery. Clarkheaton Tractors. 
Hey? The Claquitan Tractor and Agricultural Company. Their calendar. Oh, Claquitan Tractors. Oh, well, that really is art, isn't it? God, magic, that. Well, thank God. I tell you, for one terrible moment, I thought you were full of crap. Could do me a favour and look after little Trace here until one of them gets back, could you? You must be joking. Oh. Well, I suppose you're going to have to spend the rest of the day with me then. I'd like that. Would you? Yes, please. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah. Well, come on then. We'll go and have a really nice time together. So what we'll do is we'll have a spot of lunch, then a snoop round the shops, and I should think by that time your mum or dad will be back home again. I wish I could stay with you. Oh, no, you don't. Not really. I do. I hate our stinking place. My mum never knows when she's coming or going, and my dad's just an old pisshead. Now, you just wash your mouth out. Look out! Oh, God. Look, I, I'm really sorry. I was just turning round to tell this little madam to wash it. Oh, no. Six miles, girls. Big, big. Push, push. Here comes the boat. Smile, Vicky. Smile. Lips, lips, Janie. Lips. House. What's in Daddy's engine, Mickey? What's in Daddy's engine? Stop the ball, Mickey. Stop the ball. Put the ladder. Good. Good girl. Lips. Lips, Jane. Come on. Good. Oh. Oh, dear Lord, if you should take me now, I'd die a happy man. Shocking, isn't it? No, it's wonderful. Since the blood's apart to me, I thought it dropped off years ago. <laughs> All right, girl. Push My way. Good. Nice, Janie. Nice. Tight. Excuse me, Malcolm. Tight. Uh, I think it's time for a tea break. Okay, How are you, young uh, one? Uh, What's going on? Ah, not at all. Who's this then? Oh, this is Pippa. Pippa, this is Malcolm. Beautiful. Hey. Pure urchin. A feral child of the street. Angry, furtive. What's he on about? Pippa, how do you feel about taking Malcolm? Some... You lay one finger, one lens on her, and I'll focus your camera where the sun doesn't shine. Oh, you mean Ireland? Answer that phone, Thomas. Yes, sir. Hello? Oh, what? Been arrested? What for? I've never been so embarrassed in all my life. Immoral earners, eh? They weren't nice stickers. Madam Sin rides again. Thomas, <laughs> before you make one more tacky little remark, just consider whether it's really worth a severe bang on the head. Excuse, look, um, are you just on the business side or do you participate as well? Right. Oh, come on, hey, Sally, Sally, calm down, will it? It's a police station. Listen, it's a little joke, that's all. I mean, they didn't charge you, did they? So they must have understood. Will you let go of me? Only if you promise not to hit me. Yeah, all right. I just got a bit steamed up, that's all. All right, then. Fine. Fine. <laughs> oh! Don't ever get married, Tracy. You are not married. <sighs> Shut up, Tracy. Tracy, get in car. Oi, what's been going on? Hey, easy, Barry. Police got me at the pub. Said Tracy had been found in the company of a corrupting influence. You! Well, then you're nice rubbish, don't you? Well, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Is Sharon at your place? Sharon? Yeah, she's not at her sister's. Didn't spend no night there. 
So she better have bloody spent it at your place, did she? Um... That's answer enough. It's all I needed. It's all I needed in the whole bloody world. Where is she? Oi, oi, oi! Can I tell you something? I am bored to death with you and your family. All right, you've got problems. Well, I've got problems. We've all got problems. But we don't go around bleeding on the pavement. No, we get out there and we do something about it. So I suggest you get off the sauce, take your poxy brat, find your dopey wife, and sort your stupid act out. All right? Oh! Oh! Well, that really told him, didn't it? we better try and find Sharon. Do you know where she is? No. But I know a man who does. Dad, what are you doing? Looking for our mum. Our Sharon. Maybe she's home. Home? Your mum doesn't know the meaning of the word. You all right, Dad? I am now. What I've got to do now. Similarly, Giles's use of parody was a snowball. Greater love, he said, hath no man than that he would lay down his wife for his friend. Ah, how are you, Sal? Are we uh, interrupting anything? No, no, I was just given a limited course of seminars on James Joyce. Would you care to enrol? Don't think so. Uh, where's Malcolm? Gone back to his hotel. Had a very important meeting. Thank you very much. Come on, come on. But well, that anyway was the view of the Regis Professor of French Latin. So those are the fashion models, are they? Yeah, yeah. Seem very nice, don't they? Come on, hurry up. Dad, let's go home. A lot of leg on show, wasn't there? Yeah, well, they're doing swimming costumes. So. At this time of year? Hmm. Hotel. Yeah, Dad, hotel, so what? We all know what happens in hotels. We all know what happens in nightclubs. We all know what hostesses are. Don't go in there, Dad. Mum's not in there. Are you sure about all this? I'm not sure. I'm just putting two and two together, that's all. I don't think those girls had anything on under their coats. Hey? Didn't have anything to do with you, did it? What? Well, you like women with no clothes on. Sally? Yeah, I bet there are a couple of your floozies. Who's this? That sort of thigh-flashing pouting, put your makeup on with a trowel brazen hussy. It's right up your street, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know how I could have had five children by you. You're just a faithless swine. Oh, look, it's our floor. What was all that about then, eh? It's not just men who are allowed to be loud, mouth and boorish about sex in public places, you know. What? Oi. Dad, please don't go in there. What do you think you're going to find? We all know that, don't we, little one? You stop here. Hello, Malcolm. Hello, Sharon. Two friends of mine just came in, uh, a dark-haired lass and a sandy-haired fella. And, well, I, I'm supposed to be with them. They uh, must have thought I'd gone on ahead, so uh, can you give me the room number? Oh, bloody hell. Now he knows I wanted my sisters. Oh, look, I am sorry. I, I guess it's all my fault for getting mixed up with the police. Better get home and start lying through me teeth. It's a very good idea. Bye, Malcolm. Thanks for everything. Leave it with me. Thanks, Sally. Sorry the nature for pimping. I'd never have guessed. All right, Malcolm, what's going on? It's 
So that's all you were doing all night? It's an art, Thomas. It takes a long time to get it right. Uh. Oh, she must have forgotten something. Barry, what are you doing here? Who are you? Room service. Where is she? Who's that, Barry? Is there anything incriminating in there? I'm leaving. Oi! No! There's dozens of them. But they're only photos, Barry. No. I knew. I always knew. Now, look, look, look. It's not what you think, you know. Where is she? Well, she just left. You, you must have passed her on your way up. I'll show her, won't I? I'll show her once and for all. It's Barry! Mum! Tracy, what are you doing here? Are you all right, pet? Mum! Oh, Christ! Oh, come on, Barry! Open up! Oh, hold on. Move out of the way, Minnie. Good girl. Oh, my God! Well, there's no little crowd. Barry. Hello, Barry. Thomas. You lost something, have you? Everything. Do you want to talk about it? Sort yourself. Well, uh, why don't you just pop back in here and we'll have a natter, OK? Hmm. I'm not that stupid. All right, then. I'll come out to you. But... No, you bloody don't. What are you doing? Where are you going? There's a man out there talking about chopping himself. I don't care. Well, I do care, but I care about you more. Listen. He's Sharon's tragedy, you're mine, and I don't want them happening together. Thank you very much. What are you doing? Going out to talk to Barry. Thomas! I love you! Not now, Sally. Here, tell you what, why don't I call room service, get us a couple of pints, eh? <laughs> no good. No? Nice out, isn't it? Want to see my conjuring trick? No. Oh, come on, come on. Look, ordinary piece of rope, right? So I go like that, like that. I'll bow that there, like that. La da 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 Give us your hand. Give us your hand. Here you go. There's one for you. There's one for me. Da! What's the trick? The trick is we are now tight together, so you chuck yourself off, you take me with you. So yourself. Oh, that's lovely, that is, isn't it? Smashing your real pal, you are, Barry. Come on, mate, what's all this about, eh? You lost your job. You got into a bit of bother. Your missus posed for a few crumpet shots. So what? I mean, it's not real strife, is it? Thomas. Sharon's here. Oh, God, mate. on is that your stupid husband's out there threatening to chuck himself off and if he manages it he'll take my Thomas with him. Barry, Barry, for God's sake, there was nothing going on with Malcolm. He's just at the top. 
talking about? You must think I just got off the boat. No, no, it's true, honestly. Cross my heart and hope to... It's true, I swear. Goodbye, Sharon. Barry! Listen, will you get out of it, for Christ's sake? It's you that's setting him off, and I'm attached to him. Look, come away, Sharon. Leave him alone. Oi, 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 calm down, will you? There's plenty of time. No, there ain't. They'll be up here in a minute. Talking at me questions. It's easier this way. Listen, you're forgetting this, aren't you? Well, undo it. No. What? No. You chuck yourself off, I'm coming with you. And that'll be murder. Then you really will be in trouble. <laughs> Come. Look, why don't we just go down the boozer and... Well, we'll tell them we were just having a little laugh, that's all. No. Sorry. Thomas! Dad! Tracy? Get back inside! No, I won't. You're not pissing off without saying goodbye to me. Oh, get back, Tracy. Don't do this to me. Come on, Dad. If you snuff it, who's going to get me into the pub? Who's going to feed my rabbit, eh? Mum won't. She's always too bleeding busy. You're just so unfair. Just when I need you, I'm going to do a runner. Well, just don't expect me to put flowers on your rotten grave. I was rather nifty myself. Do you really care that little for me that you could risk your life like that? Ah, oh, you thought that if he'd jump, then I'd... Yeah, well, you would have. No, 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 no. It's a slip knot. You don't really think I'd let number one bite the dust in the first reel, do you? Really? A slip knot? Yeah. Typical, I suppose. Hey? Yeah, well, it's just like you, isn't it? In times of crisis, come up with an empty gesture. Oh. Well, pardon me for staying alive. I mean, next time I'll meet a potential jumper, I'll make sure we're joined at the hip. Come on, you said you were worried. I did not. You did. You even said you loved me. I never did. You did. Just I was going out the window. No, no, you must have misheard that one. Oh, oi. Don't back off. Don't cheapen it. It was nice. And for what it's worth, I am... Um... Well, I... You, you know what I mean? Mm. So you're stopping, are you? Well, if I might, yeah. Hmm, or just for tonight? Should have pushed her off. I'm sorry, Tracy. You're going to have to sleep on the sofa tonight. Oh, I'm not stopping. Thank you, God. I'll be there on Sunday. Me and Mum are just on our way to see Dad up the nut house. Uh, hospital, Tracy. They're letting him out tomorrow. Oh. Kurosawa's is reopening. Mum's given up the club. I hate happy endings. They make me want to puke. Such a sweetie. I just come to say, you know. Well, thank you. No, goodbye. Listen, Tracy. Well done out on the ledge. All that stuff with the pub and the rabbit. Excellent. Nah, I heard it from some wally on neighbours. Haven't even got a stuffing rabbit. Hate them. See ya. Just, uh, just one small thing. Oh, yeah? We haven't talked about Malcolm's models yet, have we? No, no, so I don't know. Malcolm's nude models. Were they? Stay Lucky returns at the same time, 7.55 next Saturday evening. Lady, tell me what you see. Let's feel it, get it.
stronger.